Hey everybody, my name's Youssef, and this is the Video Game Plot Summaries channel. This is God of War 2, the fourth chapter. The other three have been done already for last week and the previous weeks. And uh, hopefully this is the final one. But anyway, let's get moving. The gist of the other three episodes is that there's a prophecy following around Kratos saying that he's going to destroy Olympus. In order to stop him, Zeus stabs him in the chest with a sword, and he's resurrected by Gaia, who wants him to fulfill the prophecy and free all the titans that are all trapped in mountains or something like that. In order to do this, Kratos has to find the Sisters of Fate and rewind time back to when he was killed so that he can show up to continue the fight. In the last episode, Kratos went through the trials and got to the Sisters of Fate. They don't want to help Kratos out, so Kratos has to beat him down. He killed the first two sisters, Lachesis and Atropos, and now there's only one left, Clotho. Now you have been informed. Two sisters down, Clotho to go. She's gross. The makers of this game really want you to see boobs in all different forms, don't they? As long as it's a woman, they'll put boobs on anything. Snakes, giant squids, worms with boobs. I thought since this woman Clotho spins the threads that her stage would be either spider-based or loom-based. She definitely ain't a spider. She's like some multi-level blob with seven boobs. And clearly some artist over there hates their gross landlady. And is this a loom or some sort of sewing machine? I have a degree in textile engineering and worked in a plant that makes threads, and I've never seen a loom close to this. So when I was playing it, it was a little confusing for me to understand what I was supposed to do. I had no familiarity with this machine that she's sitting in. Anyway, eventually Kratos figures it out. Okay, right off the bat, you'll see a Lachesis statue, which will allow you to use the gym to freeze time. You'll bust up Clothos, and you'll see that it'll knock her out for a second, and she won't be able to do anything. But that's pretty much all you'll be able to do up until there. Now, here's where it gets a little cryptic. There are levers on the ground. Kratos will go around and pull the levers, and it'll deliver a dead human being that Clothos would probably eat if Kratos wasn't around harassing her and knocking her out with Chaos Blades. There is also a handle that will cause the whole loom to rotate, but you can't use it because there's more dead bodies up there. Apparently Clotho didn't eat those. At that spot where the handle is, there are a bunch of vines that you can climb up. So you can climb up the vines, slash those guys down, now the lever will move everything around. You want to pull the handle and rotate the platform so it lines the lever up with Clotho's face and chest. Once you do that, you pull the lever and it pulls up a blade. Then you just have to finish the QTE. Kratos just got all the sisters killed by stabbing them in the head. That's kind of funny. Anyway, with the sisters disposed of, Kratos finds his own thread of fate, and he moves it around until the mirror shows the time Zeus betrayed him and heads back to that time. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me? No matter. <laughs> What? How can this be? The Sisters of Fate have aided you. Unexpected. The Sisters are dead. Mm. I underestimated you. A mistake I do not intend to repeat. Now I will 
soul, the true power of a god. That's the true power of a god, just to get really big. Kratos could do that. Sorry for talking. So Kratos fights Big Zeus and a bunch of his maidens. Seriously, Kratos has to have a female kill count that is 10 times any other video game protagonist. I have never seen a dude kill women so much. Anyway, finally Kratos beats up Zeus's hands enough. Yeah, give me back some of my power, bitch. Oh, you normal now. Mortal Kombat! Mortal Kombat! Okay, I'm done. Alright guys, it's finally the end of the plot summary, so here's the ending. It's going to take a second. Okay. Not let you destroy Sparta. again everybody I lay down my arms Zeus Dumbass. Oh my god. My son, but your torment is just beginning. Just beginning. Fucking kidding me. Oh my god, I G'd my way through that whole thing and then I just fucking failed. I am through playing with you, Kratos. I lay down my arms, Zeus! from 
this torment of mine. I will release you from your life, my son, but your torment is just beginning. win. The fates have already deemed me victorious. No, Kratos! Stop! Athena! No! Why do you sacrifice yourself? To save Olympus. I do not seek to destroy Olympus. Only Zeus. Zeus is Olympus. <laughs> he brought this to himself. Because of fear, Kratos. A fear felt by his father, Kronos. A fear that wrought the Great War. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you. His own son. His son? Just as Zeus was compelled to destroy his father, Kronos. You are compelled to do the same. No son should destroy his own father. No. I have no father. God after God will deny you, Kratos. They will protect Zeus. Zeus must live so that Olympus will prevail. If all on Olympus will deny me my vengeance, then all on Olympus will die. I have lived in the shadow of the gods for long enough. The time of the gods has come to an end. Remember, Kratos, you have the power to control time itself. Wait, what? They gave us control of Kratos again. <clears throat> Alright, so Kratos goes back to the loom room finds Gaia's thread, and pulls it all the way back to the battle between the Titans and the Gods. He must have been pulling that thread for quite some time. Kratos then hops right into that time period. Some big old grandma boobs. We have been expecting you, ghost of Sparta. The gods are far too powerful for us to defeat now. All on Olympus tremble at my name. Zeus is weak. Ares and Athena are dead, and I wield the blade. We can win the great war, but not in this time. Together! We will destroy the petty gods, and we will see Olympus crumble before us! Come with me, Gaia! Return to my time! Victory awaits! 
We have faced far worse than this one fallen mortal. But we are the gods. We whom the mortals worship. Yeah, all we five of you. who rule over this land. We who will not be swept aside by this petulant fool. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite, we will stand together, and I will wipe out this plague. Olympus will prevail. Let's go! <laughs> anyway, that was the video game plot summary of God of War 2. I've been waiting all this time to play the third one because of the ending of the second one being so dope. But I don't have my hopes up too high because the end of every God of War, Kratos is overpowered. And then at the beginning of every God of War, he gets his powers taken away. But let me tell you, I'm glad to finally be able to play this third one. I can finally reach into my library, pull that thing out, and get hype about it. Do I care about Athena getting killed by Kratos? Absolutely not. This bitch gets stabbed in the fucking chest, and then all of a sudden she's going to tell Kratos the truth like she gives a shit about him? Man, fuck that bitch. <laughs> That's about as raw as I'm going to get on this channel, for real. It's been five games of Athena and her bullshit. I'm ready. She's probably going to come back next episode anyway. She's Athena. Whatever. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, Kratos did just go back in time to the war that happened before he was even born. So Athena and Zeus are still alive. It doesn't even matter. Him stabbing everybody and killing people, it doesn't matter. That's what I love about when they mess with the timeline. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore, you know? We just watched a whole episode of Kratos killing folks, which now had no consequence. He killed so many people. It, you wondered, like, for real, you were wondering, man, if Kratos kills the god of war and ends up the god of war himself, then what happens if he kills death? He kills, he kills uh, the sisters of fate. He kills Zeus, he kills Athena. Like, who's gonna be left to keep the world in order, huh? The Titans? Who's left? And the answer is everyone's left because he's going back in time. Everybody's still alive. How about that? <sighs> anyway, if you like the set of videos, please share with somebody who you think would enjoy them. And uh, please like and subscribe if you have the chance. And thank you very much. You guys freed me like Neo freed Agent Smith. Peace.